me a second, give me a second. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Oscar, Julia. Hello, teacher. How Oscar. are you today, Francisco? Good, good. Thank you. How are you, Oscar? Oh, I'm doing well. Doing well. Okay. How was your day? Well, it, today was a hot day, you know. It's, I can bear with the, the sunshine. Uh -huh. The hot weather. The hot weather is not good for me. You don't like the hot weather? No, I really don't. Okay. I really don't because I I can I can bear the with the with the oh, heat. the sweating with the heat. Uh huh. Okay. But it was okay. It was okay. All right. How about you? How about you? you do you teach all the day or do you do you no, have a um, job? A job, I, job? No, I um I start teaching at six p.m. I teach from six okay. to ten p.m. And sometimes I teach in the mornings, but my regular schedule is from 6 to 10 p.m. Wow. Yes. Wow. Right. Okay. So welcome back, everybody. Okay. Hi, good evening. Good evening. What is today's date, class? What is the date? Mm-hmm. Thursday, no, Tuesday, 29th. Tuesday, 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 September 29th, good, 29th. yes, Tuesday, September 29th, what year, 2020, 2020, very good, welcome back, uh, let's begin, I, I hope you guys had a nice day today, um, Let's briefly speak about the activities we covered uh, yesterday. Do you remember the activities we covered yesterday? Just the last one about when, when we were talking about uh, the cell phones. Yes, we were speaking about cell phones. That is correct. And the simple past and present perfect. Yes. So what is the mm -hmm. difference between the simple past and the present perfect? Uh, the simple past is when you're talking about something that has finished. Okay, good, very good. Period of time and the present perfect when it's an uh, unfinished activity. Good, activity. very good. Yes, so the simple past is used to talk about finished activities and the exactly. present perfect is used to talk unfinished activities. So uh, remember when we're using the present perfect, we use auxiliary have or has, it depends on the personal pronoun that you're using. And uh, the form of the verb is always past participle. Yes. And we also use vocabulary like yet, already, lately, recently, because you don't specify a particular time. You're just giving an idea of when something happened. You're not being concrete about the dates. Mm -hmm. With the simple past, you said, oh, I visited Guatemala uh, in April of this year. Oh, I went to La Unión last week. 
So when you use a simple pass, you're being very specific about the time. All right. Um, any questions or comments about yesterday? No, everything is clear. Did you, did you check the platform? Uh, I'm still waiting for an answer and um, hopefully I will have an answer for you guys uh, tomorrow. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, any other questions or comments before we officially start? No. Okay. So, um, so like you guys were saying yesterday, we spoke about the simple past and the present perfect. Now it's the turn for another tense. We're going to be talking uh, and analyzing the differences between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous. Now, when do we use the present perfect continuous? So how do you say, he estado ahorrando dinero? I've been saving money. I've been and saving that, money. And that action continues. Exactly, action. exactly. So uh, the main difference between the present perfect and the present perfect continuous is, like Oscar says, when you use the present perfect continuous, the action is still in progress. The action is still active. When you're speaking, you continue doing the action. When you use the present perfect, maybe the action is in progress, maybe it's not. So that is the, uh, um, the main difference between the two. So how do you say, he estado viviendo en Lourdes por ocho años? Okay. I've been living in Lourdes for eight years. Okay, so you've been living in Lourdes for eight years. So eight years, mm -hmm. you know, that's simple past. But when you say living, that means that I'm still here. I'm still here in Lourdes. Um, any questions or comments? Let me write an example. You have been attending, you've been attending this course for six days. Can you see the chat? Okay. Uh -huh. Let me see. Uh -huh. You have been attending this course for six years, okay? For six days. So when, when did six days begin? It was last Tuesday, exactly one week ago. And you're still in class. So the present continuous makes reference to actions that begin in the past and that they still continue up to now. Any questions or comments? No? Okay, let me show you this exercise, this worksheet right here. Okay, as you can see, can you see, can you see my screen? Yes. All right, present perfect continuous. Sure, sure. You always start with the personal pronoun. You use have or has. This will depend on the personal pronoun that you use. You always need to include been, and the form of the verb is always with the ing form. When the information, uh, when you're making a question, you start the information, uh, the question with the auxiliary have or has, and when the information is negative, you always uh, have to say have not or has not. Any questions or comments? Let me send you this image. Okay. Um, so let's do the exercises. See this here. Give me a second. 
can. If you want to take a screenshot, go ahead. And if not, I will send it to your, I'll send it to the WhatsApp chat. Okay, so what are we doing with this exercise? We are completing the blanks. So the questions, positives or negatives that we're doing are complete. Um, any questions about this first exercise or comments? No? Okay, so let me create the rooms. Add a room, add a room, and here we go. the class. Hi, Oscar. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, very good, man. How are you doing here, Oscar? <laughs> um, I didn't take the screenshot. You should be working, Oscar. <laughs> you should be attending your the tower. Oh. Hi, Oscar. Uh, hey, teacher, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, no so, Oscar and Julia are co-workers. Okay, okay. Well, nice. Yeah. Okay. Number two. Yes, he has. Mm -hmm. Big, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he has. He has big. Yes, he has only, no? Yes, he has. Yes. Yes. I'm doing. He needs a rest. Okay. Okay. Uh, number three. It has been raining for several days. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. For several days. Okay. Um. I feel. Has. The second one has gym. Then. As in the field, we have seen a cat in the separate with her. Cat. Cat, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've been Good. Going. My cat has been sleeping all day and has Jim been doing exercise? Good. And um, being. How can I answer this? Yes. He. Yes, he. What's the auxiliary we use with the present perfect continuous? Has. Exactly. Yes, he has. Uh, only this. And yes. then. He needs, he needs a rest. He needs a rest, exactly. Three. Three. 
Har. Har. Yeah. Har. And number five. We, we have we been writing. Have been writing. Have been writing for two, two hours. For two hours. Yeah. Tracy and Tom have been playing tennis, tennis for, an, for hour. an hour. Yes. Tennis. Uh, for I'm an hour. so. I'm sorry. I'm late. Have you I'm been sorry, waiting? I'm sorry. Waiting? Have you been waiting a long, been a long time? A long time? Mm -hmm. It's a long time, a long time, or for a long time. For a long, long time. For I, a long time. Okay. Have you had you been waiting for a long time? A long time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. Have you been waiting for a long time? Okay. Now sure. sounds like easy, but but when you're doing the exercise in the platform. Yeah, it was very really difficult, very really complicated. And yeah, hey, me too. You got Mario. You got a uh, right one. One of the. I get uh, grown, so, well, chat later. Okay. Yeah. I can still solve the platform. Yeah, I me just too. Get, I uh, have the problem. Part, I just get uh, two uh, incorrect, just two. Yeah, right. me too. The other, the others? Yeah, and, and, and the answers that you are sharing are correct. I don't understand why the platform is not accepting your, your answers as, as good answers. Well, you you know, Francisco, there are many ways to say to say the same stuff. I mean, to say the the same thing. Right. So the platform, it may be have there been, how, how can I say? Maybe we, we can have three Maybe. answers. And, and one of them is the right one. Right. Is the right one for the platform. Right, uh -huh. right. Yeah, so, the, and that's the thing. The platform registers... Uh, um, like your answer is good, but for whatever reason the platform has, it doesn't recognize your, your answer. So uh, I'm waiting for an answer so they can reply back. Okay. Yep. Uh, Thank you, teacher. All right. <laughs> Have you been working hard? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> Which one are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> number 10. Number 10. Okay. You look tired. What is the answer? You look tired. Uh, have you been, have you been working hard? Have you yes. been working hard? Yes. Yes, I have. No. Yes, yes. I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have been thinking. Yes. I have been thinking. Okay. I've been thinking about, about quitting, about what? Quitting. quitting. Quitting my job. What is quitting? What is the meaning? Quitting. What's, what's the meaning of quitting, Wendy mm -hmm. and Williams? Like to... Um, lay, lay off. Yeah. No, like stopping. Yeah. Yeah, when you don't feel good in a place, you say, I quit. I don't like this anymore. Okay, quit. Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, has the quarantine changed your life in any way? Yeah. I think it has changed everybody's lives everybody's lives one way or the other um I, yeah go ahead i've been working at home right now for example my case is is the same okay so wendy and williams just said i've been working at home i have been doing home office okay yeah vilma what about you what change can you mention uh from the pandemic how has the pandemic Changed your life? Um, yes, the pandemic changed my life because I have been working in my work in my house too. Okay, so mm -hmm. you have been working at home as well? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so many people are doing home office now, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, and nobody was ready to uh to turn into this change you know 
So, mm -hmm. but we have to adjust to whatever the situation brings. Yes. Yep. Okay, yeah. let me check one more room. Oh, that's great because you are not taking a lot of traffic. Yes, the most of the time uh, the highway is free. That's great. But just uh, from the Urdes, there are a kind of traffic um, before to arrive at the Pico de Pico. And after that, the, the highway is free. Oh, <laughs> it's free. Right. You work in uh, uh, Fruit of the Loom? Yes, right. Okay. Where, um, where is Fruit of the Loom? Um, there are a plant in uh, Exposalba and also in American Park. Right, American Park. That's that's the one that I remember. Okay, so American Park is near from Lourdes. Yes, it's a uh, uh, fifteen minutes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The distance is 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 not far, and like you said, you find traffic from Lourdes, the the, the center of Lourdes, to maybe Opico. Then after that, everything is clear. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Diana, are you working at home right now? No, I am working uh, in my office. Okay, so you go to your office? Yes, I have okay. to go to my office. And you say you, you work in, in a textile company? No, I am working for Galvaniza. Oh, right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember. Okay, so let's go back to the main session. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, um, any questions about this exercise? Uh, how do you pronounce quitting or quitting? Quitting, quit, quit. Quitting. Yes, mm -hmm. quitting. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about quitting my job. Uh, the present perfect mm -hmm. continuous structure is one of the easiest one uh, to use. Uh, because you always use have or has, you always include uh, been, and the main verb is always with the ing form. So I don't think that's complicated. So uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's easy digestion. Okay. Um, any questions about this exercise? No. Everything is okay. Okay, good. So now we go to another activity. It's about um, speaking. Um, do you come from a big family or a small family? Or medium sized? Small family, small. normal family, or a big family? Small family. Small, small. small. small family, okay. Now, how many people are considered to be in a small family? Mm, small, three or, or more? Three or four? Yeah, three or four. Yeah, three or four is the number that people usually consider as a small family. Now, what about the normal family? How many members in a normal family? Five persons. Five? Yes. Or six? No, father and three sons. Yeah, I will say five or six. Five or six is the the regular number in, in, in normal families. What about big families? More than eight, maybe. Okay. Eight. Eight is a big family. All right. Now, do you have siblings? Yes. 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 You have siblings? How many siblings do you have? In my case, two. I have four, no, three siblings. Three siblings. 
Five. Okay. Two. Two siblings. Is anybody here? How do you say hijo único in English? Only child. An only child, yes. Mm. Is anybody here an no, only sir. child? We do. Yes, sir. Who, who said yes? Norma. Norma, mm. okay. An only child, okay. Yes. Now, what do you think is better, to have siblings or to be an only child? Mm. To have children. Or do you think to it has siblings. pros and cons? <laughs> To, to have siblings. Okay. To have siblings. Yeah. Okay. In my I case, I have three family. brothers. What is it, Oscar? I mean, uh, it's, it's good and not good at the same time. Okay. So he, he's got pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Pros and cons. Okay, good. So that's going to be the conversation we're having today. Let me see. Where is this document? Uh huh. It's right here. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay, now, now. Okay, so I suggest that you take a screenshot. If not, I will send it to the to the WhatsApp chat again. Okay, same way. Um, and here we go. Let me make the rooms. If for okay. some reason you um you have any questions about um uh, any vocabulary or pronunciation, you guys uh let me know. So I will room five and room five so everybody has a partner let's do this Oscar, you, you're supposed to be in room five with Wendy and Jose. Can you hear me, Oscar? Hello, Norma. Hello, Norma. Oscar. Good. Okay, nice to hear you. Okay, yes. teacher. Now we, here we go, yeah. teacher. All right, good. Yeah, I don't have a good connection today. Okay, no problem. Uh, but uh, put the yeah, your your grabación, <laughs> your video about you. Okay. Uh huh. I can see you. I can see you. Okay. Uh -huh. right. So, which question are you discussing right now? Uh, the first one. Okay, good. Go ahead. I, but I can't see my. Your cell phone? No, I can see my 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 classmate. Oh, but they're here. Yeah. Walter and Norma are here. Yes, I don't know what what happened. Okay. I started with the Oscar at the beginning and today moved to that. Right. Yes. I, I, I changed partners. So uh, okay. now you're working with Vilma and, and Walter. Okay. All right. And two sisters. Two sisters and five uh, brothers. Four In brothers. Total, yeah. How many In siblings total, do you brothers? have, William? What? How many siblings do you have? Six. 
Okay. How many brothers? Four. Four. And how many sisters? Two sisters and four brothers. Yep. Are you the first one, the last one, the middle one? Which? <laughs> Which one? The sandwich. <laughs> the, oh, you're in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Just, just, just you're the number three? Yep. You're the boy number three, right? Number four, yeah. Ah, number four, okay. Yeah. How do you survive? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're in the middle. How do you? Yeah, yeah, just in the middle. Okay. So the, I don't know the, how... the first three um, are are boys or girls? Boys. So all the boys the came first, boys. and then the last yeah. ones were girls. Okay. Interesting. Yes, it is. And do you leave all? The... I think it's better to have siblings. I, yeah, my too. son, mm -hmm, my son is, is an only child and, and he, he wants, he, he all, see, I think he, he, he would want, would want to have us, a, a brother or a sister. <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah, and how old, yes. how old is and your son? He's 20. 20 oh, years, yeah. oh. Yes. Oh my yes, very I, I thought you were going yes, to he's... say uh, a, a little boy. Uh, 10 or 12 years. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he, he's in the university. He's studying um, by, uh, by video games. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, video games. Yes, how so, to uh, do video games. <laughs> Very it's, it's, nice. It's a, it's a new career in, in really in the in the Gavidia. <laughs> oh, mm. interesting. <laughs> so your son is uh, tech savvy. He likes technology. Yeah. Uh, yes, a, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he, but he he likes to play. <laughs> right. So, so yes, he likes to to play a lot, and this is my my headache. <laughs> and, and, and what is the name of the career? Uh, the design, video game this design, and engineer. Uh, okay. Something like something like that. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Oh, that's interesting. I, I didn't know they had that career here in El Salvador. Yeah, me yes, too. Yes, it's, it's, it's very new. It's, 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 it's a new career. New. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yes. That's, that's interesting. Now we have an extra option for, for people that love video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Yes. I have more than one kid. But I'm not sure. I think where where it two? It, Maybe it three. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, but I think it's complicated. But yeah, you're right. Maybe only one child is going to be to be lonely. It's re it's relative for me because it depends on the family. Because uh, if the family how. Uh, the commodities, the, the, um, com, com, maybe? Mm. The facilities? The facilities, thank you. The facilities, it, it, it's okay, but if not, you don't have. Mm -hmm. Prefer right. only child. Right, right. Mm -hmm. If I had money, I would have many more children because I, I love children, but like Irene was saying, you know, like money is a, it's a big factor. Yes, I was, I, I can imagine, I was saying to Irene that uh, <laughs> I would like to have only one child because I think it's too expensive to have two yeah. child. Yeah, even one is difficult. Yes, I can imagine. Now, now imagine having two or more. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so children are are uh, nice and and something good to having in, in the house, but they're also very expensive. 
Yes, I can imagine. Very expensive. Okay. Um, I think it's it's good to have a uh, older and youngest uh -huh. in your. But I couldn't have that experience. Just older. I see. Sure. How do you say? Me hubiese gustado. Okay. I, I would have liked. Uh -huh. I wish I could. I wish yeah, I if, could. Okay, okay. Yeah, or, or I wish mm -hmm. I could is a, is a good form to summarize it. Like, uh, do you have more brothers or sisters? Says, I wish I did. Or can you have more children? Mm -hmm. I wish I could. So, but if you want to say, me hubiera gustado, you said, I would have liked. Okay. I would have it's liked to model. have, uh, that is a, a past model. Yes, it's a past model. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, Which one I, are you discussing? The, do, you, do you prefer older or, or younger brothers? Um, in my case, I, I get along better with my younger brother. Okay. Do you have older brothers, uh, Oscar? Yeah, we are three brothers, and I'm the middle kid. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So you get along better with their youngest brother? The youngest brother, because with the older, my older brother, we used to fight a lot. Uh-huh. And uh, for, I don't know, for everything, but exactly. principally for, 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 uh, for toys when he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> or toys, I mean, uh, I sometimes I wanted uh, a basketball. For the uh, uh -huh. No, for the girls, I, I, don't, I don't think so. But for uh, for the toys, I mean, for uh, sport equipment. Right, right. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it's true. You know, it's common that uh, um, when you are younger, you know, brothers and sisters they fight for material things, toys shoes, shirts, or things that belong to the house, and they say, don't use that, don't touch it. And so it's, it's normal. normal, it's normal. How about you, Wendy? In my case, I am the oldest. Uh, I think uh, I, I, I don't remember. Me hubiese gustado, teacher. I would have liked. I would have liked. Uh, be the 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 smallest the, the, the smallest because I think I I had a lot of responsibilities with my brother uh -huh. uh, when we went to the call the, the school uh, sorry uh, I had to to take care of him and help with the, with the with his homework, a lot of responsibility. And I don't know, I think um, it depends on the situation, it's better to be the, the youngest. Okay, and you only had one younger brother? Yes. Okay, all right. Yeah, so it depends on the situation, like you say. Uh, galaxy. <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you think about it? Walter, okay, Walter, tell Hello. us. <laughs> okay, I remember when my mother gave, gave us some instructions and how to how to do the the responsibilities on on home. Uh, so uh, we we fight over with with my brother when when he. Uh, doesn't do in uh, some, something um and and i take the responsibility to to do to do it and he doesn't doesn't like it or or doesn't do it so what is the main reason that we fight over okay okay Number five, will you prefer older or younger brothers and sisters? 
Oh, okay, okay, in my king. <laughs> to remember me all that thing all the time. Yeah. The, okay, number eight. What? No, sorry. Six between sorry, you sorry. Wait. Wait. Valeria, wait. The image. Okay, I, I, okay, I, okay, no problem. The next one is. What jealousiness exists between uh, you and your siblings? Are you jealous or, for something? Mm. Really, no. When no. I was a child, yes, I was jealous. Very jealous. Yeah? Yeah, because I am the, the oldest. Okay. So was, I, I, didn't, uh, I didn't deal so well with the fact that I am not the only the the only child. Okay. No more. So, yeah, was a tough time for me. I just when uh, my brother the my brothers uh, came, I just I was I was five, but okay. I can I can still remember the that thing that jealousiness uh, that I felt in that time. I was right. like mad all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So for five years you were the queen of, of the house. Exactly. Exactly. For five years, um, all the attentions for me, all the love for me, all the space all for me. And now when my 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 brothers came, <laughs> uh, I have to to share my room. I have to share my uh, my my toys. So no. Okay. It, Five years after my brother came, my sister. When my sister born, born, when uh, my sister I was, was born, was born exactly. I was eleven. So, blah, complicated, really complicated yeah. for me. I couldn't deal. I I couldn't deal uh, with the, with that. It was very tough. But was tougher with uh, my brother than my sister because my brother, I was a child, completely a child. Okay, so you mm -hmm. have two siblings. I have two siblings, a brother and a sister. I'm the oldest and uh, my, my brother is 28 and my sister is 21 or 22, something like that. Okay. Yeah, 20, yeah 20, 21. Yeah, very young. Yeah, she's young. And we still fight. <laughs> Yeah, we still fight a lot. Yeah, I have three brothers, and uh, sometimes I fight uh, with one of them. So it happens. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. It's, I understand you. We fight for food. Okay. We were talking uh, about that with uh, uh, Jonathan Walter. What's your name? Sorry. Uh huh. We Williams. fight for food. William, sorry, William. So yes. sorry. <laughs> yeah, for food. Because if you put if you put something on the freezer, if you don't write the name on on a tape and you put this is mine, Julia or William <laughs> yeah. or Francisco, to the next day it's completely disappeared. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 that's a reality. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. and your and your siblings live uh there with you? Yeah, they yeah they live they live here. I live with my siblings, brother, uh, sorry, my siblings, mother and father, and then adult. Okay, that's my family. Yeah. All right. So the the family still complete, still together. Yes. Well, yes, kind of. All right. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Favorites. They don't have a. Yes, they say that. Uh -huh. the parents yeah, but... says that. They don't have favorite, but um, yeah. We, but I, I think I am, I am the favorite. Who is the favorite? <laughs> yes. Probably the the older son or daughter is the favorite. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, I think but, I think in my case I am the favorite. I don't know yeah. why, but I think that. Yes. And and, and but, for you, you are you are the older. Uh, yes, I'm the older, but but my next sister, uh, she's a doctor, so 
she well we i think she is the favorite and she ah. thinks <laughs> she thinks <laughs> uh, i am the favorite <laughs> but but no i think uh, we both are our favorite because we we are the best uh, behavior <laughs> than than my old my younger brothers and sisters because uh. Uh, we are five so <laughs> the the we are the first two and the, and we are the we ha we have the best behavior <laughs> okay yeah. yeah girls usually have better behavior than than boys you know usually yeah. not, not mm -hmm. necessarily all the time because uh -huh. there are cases where the girls misbehave uh, more than the boys. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That, like, probably, probably the case of me. This is the case. I <laughs> yes, I am the better. I have the better behavior, and my sister uh -huh. less. <laughs> really? I think, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, my my sister is more crazy than me. But <laughs> okay. All but right. I don't know. How old I, is your I, sister, Mario? She had 30, 30 years old. 30? Yes. And how old are you? I'm 32. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have only two years from difference from my sister. So I was talking with Rocio that was very good because we have a, a lot of common. Uh, we have uh, some uh, conversation or that we, we talk a lot. So for me, it's, it's good. We have a, a very good communication with my sister. And she lives there with you? No, we, we live separate. Uh, she lives in another house, me too. Right now I'm uh, visiting my parents and she's in another house. So sometimes we reunite in the, on all the weekends. And, and for me it's better because uh, before that we, uh, we are all living here in my parents' house. And we have a lot of issues. We have a lot of problems because I, I, I told to Rocio that my sister and I, we have a, like a bad temperament. Strong. <laughs> we are strong. We are strong person. Yeah. And mm. sometimes we have a, a crush or fight in all differences. But we mm. are very competitive. So sometimes uh, if, if she loud, I loud more. Uh, or You're I, louder. You, I'm louder more, yeah, um, and I, we we fight for for stupid things, but yeah, little things. Uh huh. <laughs> right. But right now, no, we we, we are we are in different houses, and when we have a family reunion, it was okay because we only mm -hmm. see one time in a week, so all the tense and the all the week uh, disappear. We are, <laughs> disappear, yeah. Okay, good. A few a few hours. Uh -huh. A few yeah. hours are, are, are reunited. <laughs> yeah, and, and sometimes so, distance uh, is the solution to solve problems. Yeah, I, I, I think that this this will be the, the best solution for us. <laughs> okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. This is the similar meaning. Yes, yes. Number 10. Should siblings stay in contact with each other for as long as a long of they live? Mm. Well, in my case, I have the, the two situations. My, my sister lives near for my house. Mm -hmm. and I, 
I see for her every day in my brother uh, live in the United States. And mm. I only only see for for physical one time for year. Mm. But for the face time every week. Mm, okay. The technology uh, give a good support in, in the relation nowadays. Ah, okay. My 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 case in my case is similar than you because I have a sister in the United States too, but the relation is uh, is not so long because we talk every week with I talk with with her every week. Mm -hmm. That's good. And for you, William? Walter. Uh, Walter. Walter. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, in my case, uh, everybody lives lives near, uh, and 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 everybody try to to meet uh, on on all weekends in my parents' home. So, but uh, in sometimes we chat uh, each other in order to. To try to be common, common, common communicate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. okay. And, mm -hmm. and so if we have a uh, one of one of uh, the the brothers or sister has had a problem uh, problems, uh, we were in contact. Oh. Everybody yes. gets involved. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. We finished. Okay, you finished all the questions? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's yes. go back to the main session. <laughs> all right, any questions or comments about the conversation about siblings? No? How do you say hermanastro in English? I can't hear you. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Brother-in-law brother is cuñado. Okay. But the manastro is brother. Step-brother. Step-brother. Yes. Okay. Ha, what do you call, imagine, Pedro and I, we have the same father, but different mother. What is the relationship between Pedro and I? I no idea. Half brothers. Half brothers. Half brothers. Half brothers. Wow. Yes. Oh. That we're half brothers. Yes. Because mm -hmm. you have the same father, but different mom. Okay. Or yeah. same mom, different father. So you're half brothers. Okay. All right. Any questions okay. or comments? No. Mm. Okay. So let's go to our last activity. It's this one here. Knowledge check. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes. So the instructions say complete the sentences with the present perfect or present perfect continuous form of the verbs in parentheses. So what would be number one? Many residents. No, wait. Many residents have been. Have been. Have been. Homeless ever since last month's storm. What about number two? Have been staying. Yes. They have, they have been staying. staying with relatives while their homes are being repaired. Yes. Okay. So the action is still in progress. What about number three? Although Cruz... Uh... Have been repairing the subway signals all week. Okay, all the crews have been repairing the subway signals all week. What about number four? They still haven't been haven't haven't been solving. Okay. Not now no. in, in this case the haven't solved present, the present, Yeah, present perfect sounds better. Uh -huh. So what would be the option for number four? What would be the answer? 
not solve. Okay, but the, the complete sentence? These things have, have been solved, the yes. problems? Very good. Yeah. They still haven't solved the problems with long delays. Okay, good. What about number five? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Irene. In the second one, uh, they, I, I have, they, sorry, they have a stain. It's okay. Uh, in a real conversation, yes, you can use it. But according to this particular lesson, they have been staying with relatives while their homes are being repaired. Ah, okay. Yeah, it, it's the present perfect continuous, Irene. Okay, thank you. All right, good. What about number five, people? Police. Uh, the, the police have been guarding yes. the stores. Okay. The trips have not robbed yet. Okay, good. Police have been guarding the stores that the thieves have not robbed yet. What about number six? Number six. Workers have Workers. been plowing have been the roads all line, but uh -huh. some snow remains. Okay, good. Now remember, in a real conversation, in a real life conversation, um, you can use present perfect, you can use present continuous, and the answer will be valid. But remember, according to the platform, only one answer is correct. All right, um, any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? No, teacher. No? Okay, so okay. once again, no. thank you very much for making the space, the time, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow, 8 o'clock. You guys have a good night. Same to you, teacher. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. See you later. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night.